Welcome back to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse and I'm here with David Oberholzer. He is Director of Business Development for Wireless at Fujitsu. David, the small cell space is very active right now. Mm -hmm. Tell us what Fujitsu brings to this. Certainly. Well, in, in building small cells, um, LTE uh, platforms uh, were really launched worldwide in about 2012. And Fujitsu was part of that uh, very first wave of launches. So our product's been very mature. We are on the front end of the uh, development of these uh, very advanced um, 4G uh, small cell systems. And uh, so what we're bringing now to our North American customers uh, is the next generation of those uh, platforms. And again, in an LTE mode, um, we have a portfolio that includes both for large business and public venues as well as small business home office type applications. And so our femtocells, uh, which again are, are banded for the North American operators, are available now and there's a number of features that, that really set these types of systems apart compared to the 3G generation of uh, the first femtocells deployed. Right, and with more operators moving towards voice over LTE, it seems like consumers may want more Fimto cells so they can have that continuous experience. Are you hearing that? Exactly, consumers and business. And not just the move to Volte, which is very important for LTE overall, but also just the HetNet architecture that operators are, are introducing today and are starting to, to build into their networks. The mix of small cells, indoor and outdoor, and with the macro cells, it's very important to have some more intelligence built into the small cell systems, and that's where Fujitsu really has some unique uh, features. We have interference control that's built into our, into our radio platform, so we have intelligent, autonomous interference control that allows these higher number of radio nodes to work within a HetNet architecture and improve the quality of service for both the, the users who are close to the femtocells as well as users who are nearby in a macro cell. Oh, great. So it really integrates. And what about Wi-Fi integration? Wi-Fi integration is very important to a number of our operators. And carrier Wi-Fi, especially uh, using uh, LTE and combined aggregation with Wi-Fi is on the roadmap of most of the operators we speak to. And our, our larger platform for public venues will support that completely. And again, we have some Fujitsu patent technology that, again, will allow for the integration of, of the same carrier for higher speeds for people combining Wi-Fi and LTE. Excellent. And what can we expect next on the small cell front? Well, we have some interesting uh, 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 new technologies coming, um, but as we also see as these mature, smarter, more intelligent management systems behind these, uh, behind these high number of radio elements that are deployed, you have to have much more uh, proactive optimization of the networks. The SON capabilities have to be much more intelligent, and they have to have relations with the existing macro cell networks. So a lot more coming from really the systems behind these that add an extra layer of intelligence. We will keep an eye on it. David Overholzer, thank you very much. You're welcome.